அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் குட் ஈவினிங் டு எவ்ரி ஒன் மை டியர் ஃபேக்கல்டி எஸ்டர்டே கிளாஸ் வாஸ் வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் ஐ திங்க் எஸ்டர்டே கிளாஸ் வாஸ் வெரி யூஸ்ஃபுல் வென் யூ லுக் அட் யுவர் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் ஐ கேன் ஃபீல் ஹவ் யூ யூஸ்ட் எஸ்டர்டே கிளாஸ் வென் யூ லுக் அட் த ஆன்சர் யூ கேவ் டு த கொஸ்டின் கிவன் இன் எஸ்டர்டே யுவர் ஃபீட்பேக் மை சின்சியர் தேங்க்ஸ் டு டாக்டர் விமல் ஜெரால்ட் ஃபார் மேக்கிங் எஸ்டர்டே a great class we are all in anticipation of what he is going to tell us today his spe- specialty is to take the class in a very simple and wonderful way my humble request is not to forget everything and go back to our old way after this five day faculty develop- development program is over use all the techniques gained in the training classes in your daily teaching learning process that is the success of the faculty development program thanks to one and all now handing over the session to dr vimal jaral welcome sir thank you one sir thank you dr shankar for your compliments thank you very much dr manjula the coordinator of entrepreneurship cell and dr shankar narayanan the coordinator of this ftp and all the esteemed faculty members a very good evening to you all i am very glad to meet you all on the second day of our learning to equip our ourselves with the digital skills to enhance our own e content i think there there is one question by one dr dimple we will get these recorded uh, classes later yes i think uh, dr sure sir sure sir i will update organizers will certainly update okay you need not bother about it right now dear participants before i move on to the regular routine of the day i would like to just brief you about uh, what what has happened yesterday we have just dealt with a presentation on fundamentals of e content and e learning also we got the demonstration of the ppt layout on your own and we have started little on interactions how to create an interactive content and thirdly we have started with animation and today we are going to see how professional animations could be done dear professors today it is going to be today it is going to be much more very interesting converting a powerpoint into video converting a powerpoint into video also we have been using zoom for quite a long time how are we going to make use of zoom for creating e content okay that is that is the priority of the session today maybe at if time permits i will also deal with the, the other elements that you have you asked for maybe little elements like downloading royalty free content and images music and so on let me check tell you right before i proceed i sh- i would like to just show you the feedback that has been given yesterday look at here there are 20 122 response and many of you have said that uh, no i'm sorry many of you have said that uh, you know 86 86 percentage have said that the session is excellent the remaining 14 and 3 something great and encouraging the organizers and the resource person and learning you are learning you are happy with uh, you know your learning goes up to 64.8 you are learning the level of your learning it's uh, 64.8 they have said that it is excellent and 29.5 they have said very good and the remaining is 7 percentage now coming into uh, what are the take away many of you have said that interactions ppt interactions that's something new that you have learned and creating little bit of uh, little bit uh, animated and your own uh, layout that you have said and with the comment most of the comments are uh, almost all the comments were positive and one common is to improve which means to go slowly i like to go take the demo quite slowly look at here the one participant one participant we have said uh, we, i have to go little bit slowly and the other uh, there, were, there were only see some uh, there is one more uh, suggestion that i have got um, see i feel that he is going little bit telagavadi okay. please mute yourself please It is better that we all, uh, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I assure you, I will go slowly. 
and one more you know we have to consider the time certainly i will consider the time because you know we we have to we, we started on time today and we end on time today 8 o'clock we will end the session it includes the discussion also yeah for more demonstration for non technical person don't worry i will go very very slow for you to understand okay dear professors thank you very much thank you now i shall go for the answers look at here which of the following elements of e content text image video all these are elements of e content so 95 percentage have got it right and the second question infographics can be created using smart art we have not dealt it but still 63.9 percentage have given the right option and the third ppt interaction can be created using not animation not design not slide show but hyperlink link or hyperlink so majority of you have given the right answer which of the following menu facilitates animations in ppt is very simple question uh, so many of you have got it right animation menu and shortcut key for hyperlink all of you know it is control k okay so with that the the day one ends with the feedback and now we shall move on for day two now dear uh, participants yesterday we have created a presentation with our own layout now we are going to uh, we are going to go for animations right i'm going to go for animation now for which i'm copying this i'm copying this powerpoint and putting it in the new slide look at here don't worry about this imagine that i have created a layout don't worry about what i have said now i'm starting from fresh my idea now the session one or the part one of the session goes like this i'll go for some professional and some basic animations then we'll move on to convert your powerpoint into video right so i have got this layout done by my uh, on our own so i copy to make multiple look at here see i have made multiple okay multiple slides right i have the first slide in the first slide usually what should we have in the first slide usually what should we have can i have your response in the chat i would like to read your response in the first slide what do we have in the first slide what do we have title yes absolutely absolutely title i'm going to go for the for, look at here fundamentals of e content development it is here so can i go ahead with uh, maybe a e content e content some image i go to google please understand i go to google see this is i go to google participants please make note of this i go to google and go to image look at here i go to image there i type e content development e content development okay e content development some some e learning or e content development some see look at here i've got a beautiful picture if you want to go for uh, some more picture you can see this this picture is beautiful now you must understand how to download royalty free images from google royalty free images from google participants please pay to i'm going to deal with few important websites which will be very useful for you look at here i'm going to tell you to begin with how to download royalty free images from google as teachers we must understand how to download royalty free content royalty free images we should not use uh, the commercial images will be a trouble right now i have given the title now if i want to go for royalty free images what should i do i have to go to tool here look at here tools is here okay i just click on tools when i click on tools you get all these options for example i would like to search for apple look at here apple apple so i get picture of apple now when i get click tools size color type all these parameters appear click on size you can choose whether the small or icon or medium so you can choose large image see when i click large image all the large pictures that appear here look at here large picture and i can go for color also for example you want to have exact color you can click here and go for for example orange color apple look at here only you get orange color apple when i want to go for green color apple when i click green only green apple appears okay green color apple look at it all these green color apple now i want to have a clip art clip art means what a, not a picture taken maybe a drawn picture or something look at your clip art toy 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 like toy apple like okay this is clip art look at here 
this is clip art see some some animations or some presentations it is better we adapt clip art and line drawing line drawing we all know line drawing look at here this is line drawing look at here see here line drawing and if you want to go for animated apple look at here i just click on gif these are all animated apples look at here see when i when i take this apple this is an animated apple so i just click on it let us see whether it is an animated apple see here the apple is animated so how do i get it into my system right click save save or copy you can right click save images a copy these are all very fundamental information but still i want to give you because many participants are non technical participants okay so let me just go basic from basics right i copy i go to my powerpoint look at here i just go to my powerpoint and i can put it here look at here See, this has a background this has a background how to remove the background can you tell me how to remove the background can someone tell me how to remove the background from a picture can you by using crop yeah by using by crop using, track remove pg okay remove pg is a website yes i told you and see you can remove crop crop also is an option but now i am just going to tell you an information look at here just go to picture picture format look at here when i select this picture format comes and go to color look at here color is here color click the color and click set background transparent color set transparent color click that and click here and automatically the background is removed look at here background is removed okay dear participants am i clear to you so i can keep it in one corner look at here this i can keep it here in one corner okay see fundamentals of e content development see this looks beautiful at the beginning right okay it, it appears there right now i go back to google now i want to tell you how to download a royalty do we, have we download a royalty free image we do not know now how to download royalty free images click usage rights look at your usage rights see the first option creative common cc license which means creative common license which can be used for non commercial purpose it can be used for non commercial purpose and the second one could be used for commercial for example if you are selling your product if you are making it marketing your product you have to go for commercial you have to buy it if you are using it for education purpose you click creative common all the picture appear under this are creative common look at here these apples are creative common i can make use of these apples freely sometimes we don't get enough and more we don't get enough and more because uh, you know uh, the, the, the images and the content are uh, they, of their own nature in uh, the rights are reserved for the authors or those who have designed okay okay now have you understood how to download royalty free images by using creative common and look at the even time the fresh ones past 24 hours you fix past 24 hours the fresh ones fresh images will appear past year means past one year what are the images appear okay past one year what are the images uh, are found in different servers that google fetches you okay this is how you download royalty free images now i am going to tell you another website called pixabay look at here pixabay click on pixabay go to google and click on pixabay Pro professors please make note of it click on pixabay pixabay.com click on it when i click on pixabay.com this appears i give you the link please make note of it i give you the link this is pixabay.com okay pixabay.com now i want to download an image so i can download an image or i can download a video music look at here you can download music sound effect and so on right now i tell you how to download a video look at here i just click on this video and type background background video background video so look at here so if i want to have this background see this background can i fix this background i click here i click one of these backgrounds and i just click i can play this and see how it looks like see it looks like this so when i click download it gets downloaded look at here the different size based on the quality okay right i just choose one of the sizes which is better uh, quality click download automatically after a minute or two see beautifully the video has been downloaded now 
how to insert it in the powerpoint how to insert that into powerpoint go to insert professors please understand to add music or video go to insert menu insert menu please carefully note it insert menu see you if you want to add a video video is here if you want to add audio audio is here so please go to insert menu and find option for video and audio if you want to insert audio you click on audio by inserting if you want to click video you have to click video now i just click video and click this device i have stored it in my device so when i click this device i will have to get that video look at here the download folder i have got that video click and insert it comes here look at here it is it has come here now what do i do i just put it put this till this now i just make it till this and i want to send it back i want to send it back how do i send it back now look at there i just click here and you can send it back see it is hidden it is hidden okay because the white background now it is hiding the white background is hiding look at there it is hiding now if you want to bring it exactly here if you want to bring that video exactly here just control press control z and you can put it one step backward look at here right click sent see here right click sent back instead of sent back you have to click sent backward look at here once again right click see sorry right click see, click here and sent backward send backward okay i have got it once again right click click sent backward right click click and sent backward until you get everything fine look at here i have got everything fine now we can put this into front look at here now i got it i've got it okay beautifully done now if you want to play this video see it, the play video also plays look at here in the powerpoint the video plays if you want to play the video in, inside the powerpoint you can bring it and play the video right i don't want it i don't want this powerpoint so i'm just deleting the video okay sorry i, I'm de I don't want this video i have deleted the video now you have understood how to insert a video into powerpoint yes or no have you all understood the, how to insert a video even if you don't understand don't worry i will repeat uh, the demo again now so far i told you how to download royalty free images from pixabay not only images you can also download look at here you can also download see look at here what are things that you can download you can download video music illustrations photos sound effects and so on all these you can download with pixabay.com the third website that i'm going to deal with is www pensound.com pensound this website is to download royalty free music am i clear to you dear professors see this is the website to download royalty free music please make note of this i have given you the link in the chat i have given the link in the chat please make note of this this website gives you royalty free music look at here when i log on to this website it gives me number of music with a slide window you can play this and see if you like it click download okay i just click download for example i just click download when i click download you have got two options one option is royalty free another option is for licensed see if you are using this music clip for commercial purpose you will have to purchase if you are using it for education purpose you can use this free license just click download automatically the music is downloaded okay dear participants have you understood so i have dealt two websites which gives you see this is a website exclusive website to download royalty free music what is that www.bensound.com the previous website www.pixabay.com that gives you royalty free images video short videos background videos and illustrations vectors and so on now how to insert the video i mean music into the powerpoint go to insert look at here go to insert and audio is here look at here audio go to insert and audio is here click here and click audio on my pc when i click audio on my pc you will have the folder where you have download exactly go there click and insert automatically the music comes here this is how you insert a music okay dear participants now the third website that i want to show you is remove pg look at here remove 
PT. For example, if you want to remove a background from a picture, remove a background, remove a particular background from a picture. For example, I just have this picture. Look at Can I have uh, your audios? For example, look at here. This picture. Look at here, professors. I've got a picture. See here. I've got this picture with a background. Look at here. I've got this picture with a background. How to remove this figure or this person alone? Just click remove background and automatically the background is removed. Okay, this is the website to remove a background from a picture. Any any background, for example, you have a logo, you have a signature. If you want to attach a signature into PowerPoint, if you want to attach a only logo, removing the background, you can use this website. This is www.remove.pt. www.remove.pt. Just click here and. I have sent you the link. Please make note of the link. Okay, dear participants. Right now, I have told you three websites. Can you tell me just to remind you all? Can you tell me what is the website to download royalty free e contents? Royalty free e contents. E content means elements means elements. Royalty free elements of e contents. Text, images, videos, and so on. What is that? Can you tell me a website to download Pixabay? Ex exactly, Pixabay. Now, can you tell me a website which which helps you to download royalty free music? Royalty free music. No, please understand. Exclusively only for music, Ben Sound. If you want to download all the elements, maybe video, audio, music, and so on, it is Pixabay. Don't forget. And to remove the background, just remove PG. Okay. And how to download a royalty free image from Google? How to download a royalty free image from Google? Go to Tools, tool option, then you can fix creative common, creative common option, then you can find all the royalty free elements, right? Thank you. Now I shall move on for the demonstration of animations. Yes. Thank you. Good. Now I go into this, see fundamentals of Econda. I want to give a title here. Fundamentals of Econda. I click insert. Text box is here. Look at here. When I click insert, in shape also you find text box. Look at here. This A. Text box or here insert itself, you will have text box. I click on text box and type here, type here, look at here fundamentals of e content. Fundamentals of e content development. Okay, this is the right. You see, I just expand it and I make it a little more bigger. Okay, see, I have made it a little more bigger. Don't make it too big. Okay, so though it is a title, don't make it too big and always go for uh, uh, nice font font styles. Okay, right. Now look at there. I'm going to make it um, small, little bit smaller, two sentences, and I want to give a line gap between uh, you know each line. Line gap. Where is it available? Under home, you will find this line gap. Look at here. Look at here line gap see i make it two okay now it is better now i want to choose a color color something relevant to your powerpoint look at your professors please understand don't choose too many colors see this powerpoint has got only blue light blue dark blue and so on so let me go for some contrast color to the background look at there some contrast color to the background okay you can even go for blue also fits nicely or you can go for some contrasting colors for example look at here i i have given in you know in in using sorry using contrast color that is magenta color okay i have given it right now the first slide is prepared i go to the second slide this is where i start the animation see the first slide is ready i go for the second slide this is where please understand this is where i'm, I'm going to convert this powerpoint into a video for video for video based e-content it should have pleasant animation so whenever we start a content in PowerPoint, we should have the presentation sketch or the schedule or the plan for the presentation. Now, let me tell you with an animation. I go to insert, please, please, please understand clearly. Go to insert. I take shape, shape here. Look at your shape. I just take a rectangle. I just take a rectangle. Look at here. I'm taking a rectangle or rounded rectangle, whatever it may be. I just take up a rectangle, keep it here. Okay, I've taken the rectangle is chosen and choose the color which you like very much. For example, 
the color that is pleasing to you okay the color that is that pleases the background or any color that you like very much for example i have chosen this color or this color okay i have chosen this color now what do i do or uh, something connected to the color it's okay let me go for green or magenta sorry violet or green so i am okay with the green now i have filled the color i am going to give an effect click shape effect go to preset and click on this now i have got this right a bar now i want to type presentation schedule or e content module schedule or module 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 plan look at here module plan module plan okay now i just increase the text and i want the text to appear vertically how do i change the letters appear vertically go to home menu and look at here there is a text direction option text direction look at here go to home menu you will find text direction click here and make it like this look at there i have got it okay i have done it if you want to make it little more bigger you can make it little more bigger and bold also it is it is done module plan now the module plan has to come one by one now how do i make it i go to insert go to the shape and take a arrow like thing for example look at here look at this one i'm choosing arrow pentagon arrow see okay dear professors i make with the same color look at here i'm just going to make with the same color or see okay. blue blue okay the first color or the green itself okay green itself and make it shape effect and make it try right. number 1 point number 1 okay or the plan 1 i want to make it right i want to bring it here how do i bring it here control r press control r it will it will appear here see it appears here now immediately after one comes i have to go with the text so i go to insert take up the text look at your text is here text box is here click on the text box and click drag and type the content for example elements of e content elements of e content okay now look at their process i fixed the first plan elements of e content give the type here. okay the color is given elements of e content what is the second plan what is the second plan now i have to click see now look at here carefully noted the bar has to come from the bottom number 1 has to come from the left and the elements have to appear one by one text by text a character by character this is the plan so shall we animate it go to animation see this is the menu for animation and animation what is the animation that i have, that we have demonstrated yesterday that we have uh, explored yesterday why what is the animation that we have explored yesterday why why animation animate why yes exactly so i just click add animation why so it comes from the bottom okay as per my plan it has to come from the bottom and one strip one where should it come from from the right or left can someone answer me in the mic from left or yeah. right? yes. from left so i just click here go to add animation why look at here but it appears from bottom so what should i do it appears from the bottom what should i do to come from effect the left. option ah, go to effect option exactly dear professor go to effect option and make it from the left look at here effect option is here and make it from the left now it comes from the left now what do i do i choose the same text element text text box text okay i have chosen the text go to add animation and wipe look at here it comes from the bottom as usually what should you do go to effect option and make it from the left see if you feel that it goes very fast what should you do you have to increase the duration okay now it will go a little faster now the plan number 1 is there what do you teach plan 2 sorry uh, part 2 of this module so i just click this and this look at here i have selected both how do i select click and from shift press shift and you both are selected now press control d look at here i keep it in a particular position control d now when i press one more see plan comes okay two two options now what do i do when i copy or when i duplicate professor please understand what what have i done see i have set i have set look at here i have set animation for all these 
So when I copy this one and this text, the animation is also copied. When already animation is embedded, when I copy that element, animation is also copied. See now, look at here. I just duplicate it. I fix it in with this okay gap, and the next part also fixed in the same gap. Now what do I do? I just do this way. I make it make a distance L, okay, and take it. Look at here till this. This is two. Make it two. This is two. And here I'm just making just types of e content, types of e content, okay. And here the tools for e content making. So the third plan, tools of e content making. Look at here. I just change the text as one to three. Here, tools for e content development or e content, e content making or e content development, whatever you can give. Now look at here. Let me go ahead. Look at look at this animation. See, when I click here, it appears from the bottom module plan. So I, I just narrate module plan. Number one, elements of e-content. Number two, we will be dealing with types of e-content. Number three, we will be dealing with tools for e-content making or e-content. Are you clear with this uh, animation here, Professor? A simple one. See, I took a little longer because I demonstrated slowly. But for you to make it, it is very simple. Within no time, we will be able to make it. This is for the first part. I mean, the first for the presentation sketch or module plan. Every content should have first this. Okay, dear participants. Participants, any any clarification with this? You can give your clarification here in the chat quickly. Have you all understood? First of all, if you have understood, press one. If you have any clarification, you are welcome to make it in the chat quickly before we move on for the next animation. You can try, you can try at home. It's a simple one. You can try at home and you will definitely get it. Yes, thank you. If you have any clarification, please ask. No problem. Don't feel bad about asking. If you have any clarification, you're welcome. Just give uh, give your queries in the chat. I shall clarify. So that uh, you, know, you, you should not uh, carry, you should not be carried away with the... Yeah, anybody? Okay. Now, many ones. Thank you. Thank you for your response. Thank you. I really enjoy handling class. Right now, I move on. Now I move on, dear professors. The first part is over. The second one. Second one. See, as per the plan, elements of econ. I have to give come out with the elements of econ. Now I go to the second one. Second slide. There, I fix elements of. I go to insert shape and choose a nice shape to just make it elements of. Look at here. I just type here. Look at here. Elements of e content. Elements of e content. Okay, that is the plan. Right, I make it a little more bigger. Right, I made it. Elements of e content. Now I just give a color. Okay, similar color. Maybe this color. I've given a color. Okay, nice. Now what do I do? Or is the same color? Look at here. The same color. Green. Green itself. Okay, let me give the same color. Green. How to type within the within the within this? Click and type. That's all. Just click and type. You will be able to type. Okay. Now it looks flat. I want to make it uh, embossed. Click this. Go to shape effect. Go to preset and choose any one of the style. It will be embossed. 3D. Now one, two, three, four. So like this, the elements have to come one by one in an animated way. How do I do that? Let me explain you. Go to insert, go to the shape and take a small, uh, maybe a oval. Look at your oval. I have taken a oval. I put the oval here. Okay, I put oval here. Look at here. I put the oval here and fill it with the color. Look at here. Fill it with the color. Okay, this is one, number one. And make it uh, embossed by going to shape effect, right? I have got number one. One has to come from uh, arrow should come and text should appear. So what do I do? I go to insert, go to shape, take an arrow. Look at your arrow is here, line arrow. Arrow is here. You find somewhere the arrow is here. Look at here, the arrows. Choose this and draw arrow from the bottom. This is number one. Okay. Now I got to make this little more, uh, you know, thicker. Go to shape outline and wait, wait, wait. And choose thicker, thicker line. Look at here, thicker line. I wanted to make it a dotted line. 
So go to shape outline again and see style, style dashes. See, you can choose this. Okay, dear participants. Now I have to give the element, first element. So I go to text box and type here. Look at here and type text is the first element. Text element. Text is the first element, right? Okay, I've made it bold and the color is, I want to have the color as, as maybe some, uh, some other color, something, okay, maybe, okay. So I have given this color, okay, right. Now, what do I do? I have to animate it. How do I animate it? First, this elements of the corner should appear. Same animation, look at the animation, add animation, wipe only, I'm using always wipe to make you all understand again and again. Effect option from the left, look at here. It comes from the left and this ball has to come from the left. Look at here, add animation. And here this time it is flying. I am just introducing another animation called flying, flying. Look at here. So it comes from the bottom. Now I want it to come from the left. Look at here. Once again, let me tell you dear participants. Look at here. I just select this ball, click add animation and go for flying, flying. I click here, it comes from the bottom, but I want it to come from the left. So I click here from the left. Look at here, from the left. And this arrow has to come from the top. So what will be the animation when it comes from the top? What animation could be better? Can you answer me what animation could be? It should come from the better. It should come from the better. Yeah, well, Dr. Kaushir, Ahmed, don't worry. I have, I have told you a few, uh, you know, websites. I've told you a few websites, few websites, those give you free e-content elements. Now, many of uh, the tools, you know, that we are going to deal with the paid tools because my MS PowerPoint is paid tool, but all of us uh, have it. All the laptops come with, you know, many of the laptops, when you buy it comes with MS PowerPoint. Though it is not a free tool, but it is handy for all of us because all of us use PowerPoint. Okay. And the tool YouTube, YouTube is completely free. It, it's a portal, it, you know, you have, you, you have also premium version, but we can use free version. And whatever resources available, we can very well make use. That's what I'm going to share. Right. Thank you. Right. In, uh, yeah. Tell me now, what, what is the animation that is better? You feel? Hey, can you show so that? Which one is that? A different animation like the flow in. Yeah. Okay. Look at there. Yeah, I've chosen this. It has to come from the top to bottom. Now I click here. Wipe only. Look at here. It goes from the reverse. So I just make it from the top. Look at there. So it comes from the top. And the text has to appear. What is the animation that I should use? Text. Add animation. Wipe. Look at there. So I have to make it from the left. Look at here. So the text also appears. If you want to make it a little more bigger, make it a little more bigger for the visibility. But the better you just make it smaller. Okay, it's going to be a video, so it, it will be visible certainly, right? One one is done. Now, if you want to make use of the same set, what should I do? I just click this, this, and this three elements together. I have copied. Now, sorry, I have selected all these three by pressing Shift key. Once again, I shall tell you. See, I want this, this arrow, and this text to put it here. Now, I put Control D, press Control D. I one more duplicate appears. So I just put it here. Look at here. One. So if you want to have more, look at there. So you up, it appears. It appears. Now I want to put it exactly in the middle. So how do I choose it? One minute. Look at here, professors. See, I'm selecting this and moving it. Bit. Right. Okay, fine. Now what do I do? I want to change look at here number two look at here number two click here and change number two sorry number two and this is number three and this is number four and at the bottom it is it is what is it it is text and it is image maybe image video or audio or the last one is video video okay right i've got it now it is in the same level so i want to make it little more uh, you know little change in it look at there the second one comes a little far up. and the third one i just make it make a move a little far up. look at there 
it comes and finally the last one i just take it little far now take it from here see it will be very beautiful now i just uh, run this animation you just check it look at this animation look at here so elements of the content number one text number two image number three audio number four video okay dear participants okay have you all understood dear participants have you all understood dear participants have you all understood yes sir have you all understood yes now is there any clarification with the second animation it's a simple one simple one try try on your own you will be able to get it and uh, fortunately dr shankar narayan sir is helping you with uh, recorded material so you'll be able to go through if you have any clarification now i go for a professional animation called clock needle animation or needle clock animation okay here you will have to take down few things clearly i will give you a material today on clock needle animation don't worry i will give you a material immediately after this session dr shankar will share it with you all okay right now look at there i just go back to the presentation now what is the second plan see i we have completed with types of elements of icon and now types of icon i go to the third slide and make a clock needle animation go to insert process carefully noted go to insert go to the shape rectangle i take rectangle i just draw like this okay i just draw like this and keep it here okay and this is a bar this is a bar maybe at a wood wooden bar so how to change it as a wooden bar i told you yesterday to fill the color to fill a color shape fill to make texture based click here and come down look at here texture texture is here you can choose any color as you like this is a texture okay see look at once again i said tell you shape fill come down texture is here you can fix any texture as you like okay right. i have fixed as a wooden bar right now first thing is over first i have put a rectangle <coughs> now i have to create like a half clock half circle semi circle to to draw a semi circle i have to go to insert look at here i have to go to insert go to shape go to shape click here and take arc arc look at here it appears under basic shape please make note of it it appears in the basic shape click the arc option and draw here look at here the arc comes only half so how do i make it uh, full see here see i just click this yellow color uh, dot and make it full okay professor now if you want to increase little bit see i can i can make it bigger okay have you all understood see i have made it bigger right now this line has to be little more thicker so i choose this line go to shape outline if you want to change anything shape outline only with regard to lines wait i can increase the width line width and make this color sir line color as look at here line color as uh, blue okay blue color right now i have to create a needle put it here and it it has to come here now i want to create a needle process first step is to create this rectangle second step is to create this arc okay create this arc this arc and the third step is to create the needle so i go to insert go to the shape go to rectangle look at here rectangle is here select the rectangle like this okay rectangle is here and choose the color color of rectangle look at here you can choose any color as you like i have made it as uh, okay this this color and make it uh, preset as embossed now we have got a rectangle when i rotate this look at here it doesn't go well see here if i if i rotate this see what will happen see here it goes completely like this no it won't be good so what do i do i want to have one more at the bottom one more at the bottom how do i get control c control v see i got one more rotate it and put it put it at the bottom look at here i put this at the bottom okay dear professors okay now what do i do i select this and this with shift key look at here now make it 
make it control g control g control g makes it as a one element though the needles are two two element two needles two elements i made it one by grouping it control g is a shortcut key for grouping right now i put it here is that okay now when i rotate it now look at it it looks better it looks better yes or no it looks beautifully well and now i'm i'm not happy with the center part so what do i do i just fix a round thing go to insert go to shape oval i put it in the middle okay middle i make it with, with yellow color okay right look at there shape effect and preset now i made it or even you can fix with some other color some other color maybe green or look at here green or blue blue okay blue now this this needle and this one should go together so i am just making it group i have selected the needle and this ball or circle press control g it becomes one now it becomes one look at here it looks beautiful yeah now what do i do i have to rotate this and make point number 1 point number 2 point number 3 that is my plan okay dear professors okay fine now what do i do i just click this needle professors i have created a needle and you understand why do we create two needles from the top and bottom when i rotate this see what happens this needle also goes the bottom needle now i don't want the bottom needle so what do i do i just select this alone go to shape fill and click no fill look at here see there is a bottom needle but uh, it it is not appearing it is hiding but it is there but it is hiding now when i rotate this see only the first needle or the top needle or the top or the top okay dear professors okay now the bottom needle is not visible okay have you all understood what this is have you all understood yeah participants have you all understood up to this can i have your response if you have understood press one yes sir just wanted to know if you are if you have any difficulty step by step we follow i will also give you no material today okay for you to follow thank you thank you very much for your response thank you something great yes now i have done everything now i go for animation part go to animation look at here i go to animation add animation now this time to rotate we have got an animation called the spin look at your spin is here when i click spin it goes very fast so what do we do what do we do i have to make it slow and i have to make it see it till uh, till here only it goes for 360 once again i shall tell you look at here i just select this needle go to add animation spin when i click this it goes for 365 but now i want to come till here make my point number 1 okay now what do i do i just click this go to add animation click spin it goes i have to make a control so how do i make a control you will find under animation tab animation pane look at the animation pane click this animation pane and you find an arrow here under this animation pane you find an arrow click here and go to effect option please back note go to effect option once again let me tell you see this this animation pane is here click here and it it comes here when i click there is an arrow and go to effect option when i click this effect option see it is actually 360 degree so i'll have to change it as 50 degree look at here click and change the degree make it as 50 degree or 45 degree 45 degree press enter you have to enter don't forget not just by entering it will appear you have to enter and after entering just click okay after ensuring that your uh, you know change angle is here press okay now look at there the needle comes till here okay needle comes till here am i clear to you i repeat the step i repeat the step dear professors i just click this needle go to add animation click spin it goes completely no now what do i do i go to this animation pan click here it appears here click this arrow mark go to effect option and click this 360 degree and change it to 50 degree okay press okay whatever angle you want to come see look at here once again has it changed go to effect option see 360 is not changed click here 
make it 50 and enter use enter button enter ensure that 50 is fixed here 50 or whatever angle that you fix 60 here and plus okay now look at here the needle comes till here now i got to make the point number one here go to insert go to shape i'm taking a oval and making the point here point number one and i'm filling the color yellow and effect as like this point number one point number one now i change into different color look at here point number one and text point number see text box i'm putting a text box this is actually types of e-content no so i just put the first type number first is text based e-content text based e content text based e content text and image right pdf document based e content document type e content or document based e content right text based e content right now change the color if you want change the color blue right i've done it if you want to change it to some other color you can make it right i've done it now this this one has to come with an animation go to animation add animation and zoom look at here zoom it comes from now text based I, I select this what is the animation will be better from come from the left what animation will be better what animation will be better to come make the letter from one to if enough one element but why give two rectangle shape uh dr murugarnandam sir dr murugarnandam sir sorry i have just uh, just seen your question only now sir actually when i, I show you Look at here, sir. If I have only one, uh, see here. If I have only one rectangle, look at there. Look at here, when I rotate, see what happens? Will it be okay? See, I just keep it here and rotate. Look at here, see here. It doesn't come out well. Okay, do you understand? Now, what do I do? I just make it one more. Copy, paste. And put it at the bottom. Look at here. Now I make it, make it select this also and make it control the one element. Now rotate it. Look at here. Okay, the uh, the the focus central point is fixed here. Okay, now when I put it here and choose the the bottom one and make it empty. Look at here. It is not there. So only this alone moves. Am I clear to you? Am I clear to you, Dr. Murugananda? Sir, I'm clear to you. So the bottom one helps you to have a better look. Okay, right. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Now the text one. What is what animation should be better? What animation is better? Go to animation, add animation, wipe. Look at your wipe alone. See, it comes from the bottom. I make it from the left. Look at there. From the left. It goes from the left. Okay, dear participants. I just make it a little more slower. See here, I can increase the duration, right? Now, what do I do? I select the, the angle again. I select the angle, see this needle again. This needle comes only till here. So I have to make it come till here and go for the second point. Now add animation, spin. Again, it goes completely. Now, what should I do? I have to see group four again. I have given animation, click here. Effect option, 360, I make it as 50. Let's make it 50. See, ensure 50 is 50 appears here. Press OK. Now you can check it. You can run it and check it. See, make it in the screen, full screen, and check it. Look at there. Text based e content. Second one. See here. Sorry. Second, it comes still here. So I just want to make it come still here. So I have to reduce the angle. So what do I do? I just select this and go to this. Effect option, instead of 50, I make it 40. Let me check if it is okay. Right. Shall we check it? Look at there. It comes here. Text number one appears. And two, okay. Two exactly comes here. Sorry. See, it comes still here, but I want to make it a little more here. Right. Shall I go ahead once again? Look at here. Effect option. And 50 has not been changed. So make it 40, enter, press okay. Now it will come till here. Okay. Okay. Now what do I do? See 40, it comes till here, right? You have to adjust a little bit, right? 
you should not get uh, frustrated you have to adjust a little bit right 45 i have given 45 now so 45 it will come till here look at here till here right right okay better now what do i do the second anime the second angle will come here till here so i just take this ball and this text copy paste it copy paste it and put it here number and change the number as number two here make it as video based the content video based the content now the third angle i just click the the, the needle go to add animation and click spin it completely goes it goes completely now what do i do i just click this arrow in the animation pan and click the effects and there in the 360 make it 40 40 or 45 enter see 40 is here press ok now see what happens it comes only till here okay let me check it yeah, let me just run from the beginning see here it comes from the beginning okay right. okay now let me check it look at there number one point number one comes point number two point number two comes okay fine now what do i do i want to have point number three so point number three has to come just click here click here and put it copy paste okay i put it here till here okay now make it three and change interactive e content interactive e content now let us play this and see look at there one appears here one point number one text based e content point number two the needle moves beautifully it moves right point number two and three it comes here till here and Point number three comes here. Now, what do I do? I have to adjust this three, put it at the bottom here. Exactly. Okay. I have to move it. That's all. I just click it and move it a bit. Okay. Now it, it will be better. Now it will be better. Right. Fine. Right. Okay. Now it, it is done. It is done. Okay, dear professors, please try at home. It's a beautiful professional animation. It, it is really fantastic to make it right. Okay. Now, if you want to put the text here in the in the bar, in the slide, I mean here, in, in this button bar, how to make it? See here, types of e-content. Okay, I put. Now, how to make it uh, vertical? Go to home menu and choose the text direction. Look at here. See, I have done it. Text direction, I have done it. Types of e-content. Okay, it appears one by one. And third element, look at here, professor, tools for e-content. So third, third, simple animation. So you can, you can, you can design your own animation, create your own animation. You can make it as you like. Animation is very simple. Even subject-based animation, for example, you have a simple pendulum. You make a pendulum, go from here and come back, go from here and come back. It is, it is up to you to do all these. All these can be done with your own ideas. Okay, imagine and implement the animation. And the for third one, third part is tools for e-content. So what do I do? I just click here and create my own simple animation. Go to insert, go to shape and choose a peculiar shape. Look at here. Look at here. I'm choosing this shape or this shape. Look at here. This shape. Okay, dear professors, I rotate. I rotate and put it here. Okay. Okay, done. Now, what do I do? I just make the color make some color okay right blue color or green color or uh, any color that uh, that is good okay okay right this color or any any other color if you want to choose you can choose from here go to more no fill or more fill you can choose more colors and choose any color that you like very much right this color i have given this color beautiful color right now i make it uh, embossed embossed and this bottom see here look at here go to insert go to shape and i want to choose a file like this look at there it looks good okay i fix it here you, you see this is only a design that is thought i thought it only now right go to shape, shape effect and click here give it here right am i clear you, you make it put it on the top send to Put it on the top right it looks better 
Now, what do I do? This is point number one. This is point number one. And the tool, the first tool is PowerPoint. PowerPoint. So how do I make it vertical? Go to home, text direction, and make it like this. Look at there. Okay. Right. Make it and bring it as one line. Okay. I made it as one line. PowerPoint. Right. If you want to fix the logo of PowerPoint, you can bring it here. Okay. Now, right now, I wanted to know you only the animation part. Right. Now, what do I do? The arrow should go here and two, two should appear. So go to insert, go to a shape and select an arrow. Look at here. From here, I have to take an arrow and put it to the next, next step. Okay. Here. Right. Fine. I just change the shape, weight of the arrow. Look at there. Okay, some colors, arrow color is green. Okay, now I just, uh, it has to come, everything has to come. Now what do I do? Number one has to come, look at here, first one. Animation, add animation, zoom. Look at here, one has to come and from the bottom it comes, add animation. I'm just using wipe, see it comes from the bottom. Okay, and the PowerPoint, text PowerPoint. I select PowerPoint, go to add animation, wipe look at here it comes from bottom so i make it from the left look at here it comes from the left okay powerpoint now this arrow after it all appears this arrow has to go add animation wipe look at there make it left see it goes to the next so one set is over now what do i do i select everything look at here i select everything control d put it control d and put it here exactly I put it here. Now press Ctrl D. You will have the same pattern in there. And the final arrow is not needed because I want to have only three elements. The final arrow is not needed. So here I change the number as two. There I change the number as three. You can even change the color color of this. Look at there. I go to shape shape format and change the color as blue. Look at here, blue and this blue. This color also some some other color. Look at here. Yes. See this beautiful three shapes that have come. Now just change the text. For example, open shot, open shot, open shot. And here it is free cam. Okay. These two tools are open source. Free open shot and free cam are free tools, right? I put the text. Now, what do I do, dear professors? Now look at here. Look at this animation. See. Number one appears, PowerPoint. Number two, see, for number two, and number two, open shot. Number three, see, free cam, right. I've got all these three. According to our plan, see, look at the elements of e-content is added, types of e-content is added, tools for e-content is added. Now, finally, thank you. Okay, you can choose uh, thanks from internet or you can, you can put your own text. Take text box, take a, Peculiar design of font. Just I go for uh, scripts. Okay. See, look at here. Thank you. Thank you. Choose. Make it bigger. How to make it? Uh, how to make the text bigger? I told you yesterday. What is the shortcut to make it bigger? Can you tell me what is the shortcut to make it make the font bigger? Uh, uh, Mr. Dr. Bailey, you, you have asked me for how to ensure, uh, yeah, yeah, how to ensure order of appearance. Right click, you will have any shape. Right click, you will have order, order. So bring it front or backward or back. So you can ensure the order of arrangements of different shape. Right now, uh, yes, Dr. Sudha, you are absolutely right. Shift close bracket. Right. I go back. Look at here. Shift close bracket. You can increase. Control, control, not shift, control. Okay, control. Look at here. Control for increasing close square bracket, for decreasing open square bracket. Now I put uh, all these slides. Right. I put here. All right. Done. Now what do I do? Everything is mine. I have not copied anything. Everything is mine. So what do I do? I just delete this. I delete the remaining slides, empty slides. Right. Now I have done with few animations. Okay, dear professors, so far I've told you few animations, how to create our own animation. Now, what do I do? I'm going to make this a video. 
please understand i'm going to make this a beautiful video with my voice over okay dear professor shall we move on to that part adding voice over and making this as a beautiful video now i go to the presentation the first slide i'm going to add a music here i'm going to add a music i have downloaded a lot of music where do we download royalty free music can you tell me where do we download royalty free music plenty of music are available yeah bends out yeah, thank you dr raja thank you dr dipal yes now i just move on now go to now tell me where should i where should i get from where should i get the music what option leads me to get music into powerpoint what option to get music into powerpoint yeah i will tell you dr uh, i will tell you dr vayabari sir yeah thank you dr hema go to insert audio look at here i told you know audio click audio audio on my pc make note of it go to insert click audio audio on my pc then you can choose any any one any one of the any one of the music that you like see i have downloaded all these i just press insert see a music appears once after the music appear see you you don't forget to do this once after this music appears see you will have to click play in the background don't forget to do that play in the background in 2010 it, it may not be available please make sure you have to give play in the background okay i have given play in the background which means the same music appears for all the slides okay dear professors so i have attached a music now the music is dominant look at here the music is dominant since it is google meet you will not be able to get the sound so i will just convert and give you the the, the video okay i just put it dull i am able to get the music in my laptop but you won't get it okay it is mild okay i have checked it how to reduce the volume click this speaker symbol and you can make it up and down you will get it right so i have attached music okay into my powerpoint now how to add my narration please understand the step for adding narration your voice over go to slide show look at their process go to slide show go to slide show there you will find a record see i go a bit slow for you all to understand clearly go to slide show and click record 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 is here click that and you have two option if you want to start from the beginning i click from the beginning from the beginning or if you want to record in a particular slide from current slide you'll have to use current slide i just click from the beginning look at your process i click from the beginning i am using the latest version of powerpoint but for you the look and feel may differ but when i click record from the beginning automatically it will ask you some some options for the lower versions press okay okay then you start narrating you start recording now i just click from the beginning look at here for me it appears like this for me it appears like this one minute dear professors i am going to yeah yes for me it appears like this now what do i do i have to start go go to my okay one minute see here it is here now what do i do i have to start this red color button to start giving voice over now i stop once again i started look at your process look at here please look at here go to slide show look at here go to slide show click record from the beginning click from the beginning okay when i click from the beginning it appears to this page i have to click record when i click record the you know i have to start my recording okay i'm going to start my narration one by one okay i'm going to start one by one i just click here i am doing it on behalf of dr shankar so it is you know it is given as madras university dr shankar narayan okay now look at here i just click start recording see it gives countdown i am ready dear learners i am giving you the fundamentals of e content development in this module let us now take a look at the presentation sketch one minute dear professor there is a small slight uh, slight issue one minute let me just go ahead from the beginning go to insert see look at here go to insert go to insert go to the slide show sorry go to the slide show 
click record from the beginning see if you have anything you can clear clear timing and clear the other things from the beginning don't worry about other things click from the beginning and you can one minute your media recording device such devices okay i think uh, my mic is used in uh, no uh, you are, I okay. mic in google meet that's why the problem arises no problem let me just give you look at here just one minute there is a problem because of uh, one minute i will set right and uh, i will just show you once again i'm sorry for the same right go to slide show once again dear professor i i go to slide show okay go to slide show record click from the current slide okay uh, sorry from the beginning okay i just click on from the beginning yeah look at there one minute i, I have a problem here now now kindly hold on please understand uh, the way it is done okay kindly understand the way it is done once again let me save this and go back and take it again one minute i'm just doing it i go to desktop i make it uh, yeah i save it in your norm folder model presentation okay model ppt ppt with animation okay i've done okay save it yeah now look at here how to how yeah dr vayavri i'm giving you the answer okay dr vayavri i think you have asked a question now i have given you i am giving you the answer now i go to open i just open yeah i opened it fresh right now i go to slide show i go to slide show record slide show from the beginning look at here from the beginning from the beginning right i just click on from the beginning when i click here um, still i have a problem one minute let me just stop uh, the mic for some time please understand i'm stopping the mic for some time sure sir sure i'm stopping the mic for some time sorry i'm just no problem sir participants sorry that is that i face a problem here by recording because i am connected to uh, this mic is used, used here mic and camera is used here that is why i am unable to do that but please understand the process okay please understand the process let me explain you the process you we can do, we do practice ourselves sir don't worry sir yeah now look at here i shall let you know the process go to slide show go to record go from the beginning okay from the beginning click from the beginning then when you click record okay from the beginning and it appears here once after it, it is appearing you will have to click the red color button okay it okay red color button you will have to click the red color button then you can go for recording am i clear to you dear professors by pressing the next it comes one by one it comes with animation you will have to record and you can go ahead for example see i just start recording the elements of econ see now uh, see the, uh, there is a mal there is a mal functioning 
that is why it, it is not but uh, you understand now the recording is done here look at here my voice is done here my recording is done here look at here this one is a music and this one is a recording voice over okay now i shall let you know how to convert your powerpoint into video now i have done this powerpoint but without my narration there is a malfunctioning so i am unable to do that but i am able to just record i i shall show you once again go to slide show go to record from current from beginning from the beginning when i click from the beginning automatically you will get records am i clear to you dear professor for example click here and it appears when i see again and again i'm facing the problem but uh, but get to know when i click here it goes for recording am i clear to you dear professor it goes for recording I click here. See, start recording. It goes. Then the recording begins. Dear learners, I'm giving you a presentation on fundamentals of e-content development. Let me explain you the presentation sketch. First, we will deal with elements of e-content, and second, we will deal with types of e-content, and third, we will deal with tools for e-content. Now let me explain you the different elements of e-content. We have different elements of e-content. Number one, we have text, and number two, we have image. Number three, we have audio, and we also have video as a major element of e-content. So, text, image, audio, video—all these are different elements of e-content. Let me give you the types of e-content. text based e content is the most prevalent content we supply for the students as notes second is video based e content very attracting element which could reach millions of people and the third one is interactive e content we can interact in the content it could be a video or ppt or pdf whatever it may be so these are all types of e content let me brief you with the tools of e content the first tool which you are all familiar with powerpoint and the second tool is open shot which is a free tool to edit your content and the third tool is free cam it's a free tool to record your screen so dear learners i have told you the elements of e content types of e content and fundamentals of e content thank you i'm sure all of you have understood the fundamentals of e content see you in the next module stop it okay once after the recording is over stop it and close close this see i have done successfully with all these slides see every slide you will see at the corner the you know the video icon okay dear participants i have done successfully i have done the recording successfully okay, now professor muttamil selvan is asking me how to add a facial video in one corner definitely i will tell you tomorrow because we are going to see two three uh, recording tools even in powerpoint you can add your video even in powerpoint you can add your video uh, dr kaushir i will tell you dr kaushir you are asking how to write it in pencil i'll tell you now look at there i'll tell you in another powerpoint okay for example look at here this is an empty empty screen no i just make it full screen once after making it full screen at the bottom you will find the pen option are you able to find the pen option are you able to find the pen option yes sir yes sir look at there the pen option is here see the pen is here at the bottom you find the pen click the pen option and you can write look at here for example a square plus b square plus 2ab so you can you can get it am i clear to you sir look at here at the bottom you can even change the color sir see i can change the color i can do anything that i want have you understood sir have you understood sir i think there's a power yeah thank you i think there's a power failure right have you understood have you understood sir yeah now one professor asked how to appear in video how to appear in video yes now look at there i shall let you know how to appear yourself in video see here the same same presentation i want to appear in one corner so what do i do i go to record slide show look at here slide show A record show from the beginning. See, are from the current slide. Here, there is an option to open my camera. Look at here. 
I just close my camera in Zoom, sorry, Google Meet, and do it. Look at there. I just open my camera. I am appearing in one corner. Am I clear to you? Am I clear to you, dear professors? I am appearing in one corner. It is. It is available yes, in the latest version. It is available in only in the latest version. Okay, dear participants. I just close this window. Right. Now I close it. Now do you all understand? Go to slide show record. You will understand. Okay, slide show record. See from the beginning or from the current slide. There on the top you have the video icon. Turn on the video icon. You will be available in one corner. Okay. I suppose you have understood. Have you understood, uh, dear sir? Okay. How to write? Yeah. I think I uh, will convert the PowerPoint into video. Okay, we have done a video. So we have done a PowerPoint. We will convert that PowerPoint into video. Now look at your how to the steps for converting a PowerPoint into video. Look at there. Go to file. Go to file. Come down. Click export. Professors, please understand. I have I have given the narration voiceover. Now I am converting the same into a video. Go to file and go to the option export. Am I clear? Am I clear to you, dear professors? Once again, let me make it. Go to file and go to export. When I click export, you will have option create video. Create video. Click on create video. When I click create video, there is another option create video. You need not change anything because it is a full HD. What, what, whatever video that we have created, it is a full HD. Full HD, complete the quality one. So I just click. Create video. Once again, let me tell you the process. File, file menu. Press export. There is an option called create video. When I click create video, and another option comes as create video. Click that and give the file name. For example, PPT video one. Okay, I've, I've given the file name and press export. This PowerPoint is now getting converted into a video. Okay, look at there at the bottom. Look at there at the bottom, dear professors. It is slowly getting converted. Okay, so now a beautiful PowerPoint will be ready. Be sorry, beautiful video will be ready. Now, what do I do? I told you, you know how to record your video into Zoom. Okay, your e-content into Zoom. Okay, dear participants, do you all understand? I am going to create a video using e-content. Sorry, a video using Zoom. Shall I just give you uh, how to make your videos into Zoom? Start talking at video. You appear in camera and talk something. In front of your students, or uh, make a video with the talking at video. Talking at video is appearing in camera, talk for a minute, talk for five minutes or ten minutes with a concept or with a with an idea. You can also share your presentation, and in one corner you'll be there, and your content can also be ready. Right? Let me tell you. Now, how to do that? Meanwhile, this PowerPoint is getting getting uh, converted into video. Okay. Let me open Zoom. All of us use Zoom. All of us use Zoom, right? I have opened the Zoom window, and Zoom is a paid tool. But for you, for one person, you can use it for any longer. There will not be interruption. When you go for more than three, only then they will ask you to pay, or they, they, there will be a cut off in forty minutes or forty-five minutes. But now, as far as you, as far as concerned, only you will be there, so it 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 will not cut off. So you can record as long as possible. Click new recording. Click new recording. See, I have clicked new recording, right? I have clicked new recording. Now, what do I do? I just open. Okay, I just open. Now, look at there at the bottom. You will have video control. At the bottom, you will have video control. Please understand. At the bottom, you will have video control. Open that arrow. Small arrow is there. Upward arrow is there. Click that. Is the is my Zoom screen is visible, sir? Sir, is my Zoom screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Click that arrow. Go choose virtual background. Go choose virtual background. Click that. And dear participants, I've got so many backgrounds right now. I can add video or I can add. See here. Look at here. I've added a background. Now I just close myself in Zoom. Sorry, Google Meet, and come back. I close myself in Google Meet and come back. One minute. Yeah, let me close myself in Google Meet. Am I audible now? Am I audible in Google Meet? Because I'm using both. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm back in Zoom. Look at here. I have appeared. I I put uh, a background. 
zoom background i put a zoom background now look at here i just have chosen if you want to add new one now there is a small issue with the camera i'm sorry continuously we are using it uh, different things no that's why one minute It's an issue appearing here in the camera. See, please understand right now. Go to Zeus virtual background and fix any background. Okay. For example, right now I have chosen a background with a beach. So it I will be appearing in the beach background. And once after appearing with the same, look at here. I'm, I'm, imagine that I am appearing here. Once after appearing, you can click record. So once you click record, you start recording your face. Then click stop recording end recording automatically your video will be converted this is how you do your videos in zoom don't worry i'll give you one more demo okay don't worry i'll give you one more demo tomorrow with new few more options right now dear professors i've just move on to i just move on to zoom now almost uh, let us look take a look at the powerpoint it is here look at here it gives me a message video exported successfully video exported successfully so now what do I do? Where, where have I saved? I have saved it in desktop, you know, University of Madras folder. So I just play this for you all. Now I go and stop the presentation right now because I'm going to play a video. Right. Now I go uh, from you know, folder. I'm taking that video. When one minute my screen is not visible to you, I know. I'm just making it, uh, taking it to you. Putting it in the browser and play this video. Yeah. I've done this week. Yeah. Really hold on. Now I'm sharing. Now look at there. See, the, is, it, is it visible to you, sir? The video is visible? Just now, sir. Yeah, yeah. Are you getting yeah, the yes. music, sir? I'm yes, giving sir. you the presentation so that we have done. Fundamentals of e content development. Let me explain you the presentation sketch first we will deal with elements of e-content and second we will deal with types of e-content and third we will deal with tools for e are you getting the sound sir see the animation now also comes one by one the different elements of e-content we have different elements of e-content number one we have text and number two we have image number three we have audio and we also have video as a major element of e-content. So text, image, audio, video, all these are different elements of e-content. We give you the types of e-content. Text-based e-content is the most prevalent content we supply to the students as notes. Second is video-based e-content, very attractive element which could reach millions of people. And the third one, See beautifully, all the animation also appear and video is ready. A simple one, simply a video or PPT or your presentation with some little animation. Let me brief you with the tools of e-content. The first tool which we are all familiar with is PowerPoint. And the second tool is OpenShot. This is a free tool to edit your content. Professors, please make the music mild when you do it. Make it mild. Record your screen. So, dear learners, I have told you the elements of just stopping the video. Okay, dear professors, it's a simple process. It's a simple process. I suppose all of you will be able to make your videos. So, tomorrow I expect all of you to try a PowerPoint with an animation and video. Yeah. Now, dear professors, tomorrow, tomorrow I'll bring two cameras because right now I am connected to Google Meet, so I am unable to join Zoom. So tomorrow I will set, I will tell you at the beginning how to create a video using Zoom, how to create a content using Zoom with PowerPoint as well as a virtual background like this with a video. Okay, dear professors. So now you are very clear with some of the animations. Uh, one animation is a professional animation, and the way to record your voice, and finally how to convert your PowerPoint into video. Okay, if you have any clarification, you are welcome to make it within three minutes. Now, three minutes left. Sir, how to add the background music, sir, with that video? Yeah, now, I shall let you know, sir. See, go to insert. Go to insert, sir, for example. Look at here, sir. Is my screen visible? 
Go to insert. Look at you. Go to insert. Audio is here. Look at you. Audio. Audio on my PC. Click here and you will find music downloaded wherever you have the music. So you can download it from bedsound.com. Click one of the music and insert. It will come here in the screen, sir. Okay, sir. Once it appears here, go to play back on the top and click play in the background. Don't forget to do that. Play in the background. And at the bottom, you see the music volume. Reduce it so that it, it is mild and your voice should be louder. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Is my voice feeble in Google Meet or it's okay? Is my voice feeble in Google Meet or it's okay? Perfect, sir. Okay, fine. Thank you. Any other clarification? Professor, any other clarification? Any other clarification? Have you all understood whatever demonstrated today? Professor, have you all understood whatever demonstrated today? If you have any clarification to make it, please, you're welcome. So tomorrow, I, we are going to deal with the screen capturing tools and making videos using Zoom, which is very simple, very, very simple. Tomorrow, I'll, I'll appear with two cameras. You'll be able to understand clearly, OK? Now, it, I think it is time. If you have no clarification, over to sir for the concluding note. And professors, I will give you the material today okay for converting a powerpoint into video and open shot is a tool professor open shot is a video editing tool open shot is a video editing tool. see i just make it just for the powerpoint sake okay okay thank you sir thank, thank you so much uh, for your demo uh, uh, pangir I have already shared it in your chat box. I will share it with you. 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 நான் முத கொண்டு கத்துக்கிட்டேன் ஆல்ரெடி இது முன்னாடி ஈ கண்டன் தொடர்பா நிறைய ஷார்ட் டேம் எல்லாம் கத்துக்கிட்டாலும் இல்ல நிறைய புதுசா உங்களோட இணைந்து நானும் வந்து கற்கக்கூடிய ஒரு சூழலை வந்து விமல் ஜரால் சார் உருவாக்கி இருக்கிறாரு எங்க எல்லாரோட எண்ணம் என்னன்னா இது எல்லாத்தையும் நீங்க வந்து உங்க வகுப்பறையில நீங்க கொண்டு வரணும் அதை விட இது ஒரு பிக் ஒரு பெரிய ஒரு சேலஞ்ச் என்னன்னா இன்னைக்கு ஸ்வயம் என்பிடிஎல் அந்த மாதிரி உள்ளதுக்கெல்லாம் இதை நம்ம வந்து கட்டாயம் பயன்படுத்தணும் இதெல்லாம் நீங்க கத்துக்கிட்டீங்கன்னா நீங்களாவே ஒரு கோர்ஸ வந்து கிரியேட் பண்ணி நீங்களே வந்து ஸ்பான்சர் பண்ணலாம் நீங்க ஸ்வயம் என்பிடிஎல்ல அந்த வகையில நல்ல ஒரு செஷன் கொடுத்த விமல் ஜெரால்ட் அவர்களுக்கு பல்கலைக்கழகம் சார்பாகவும் ஒருங்கிணைப்பாளர் சார்பாகவும் எங்களுடைய கன்வீனர் மேம் சார்பாகவும் பங்கேற்பாளர்கள் உங்களுடைய சார்பாகவும் நன்றி தெரிவித்து விடைபெறுகிறேன் நன்றி வணக்கம் மீண்டும் நாம் நாளை மாலை சந்திக்கலாம் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் நன்றி தேங்க் யூ தேங்க் யூ சார் அண்ட் தேங்க் யூ தியர் பார்ட்டிசிபன்ஸ் Thank you all. See you tomorrow with yet another interesting content creation tools. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.